I'm going to show you how to use an idea called a state machine to make things happen in sequence. So um, basically I want to have a sequence of steps and I'll use an integer variable to hold that. And I want to start the program at step one. So the next thing to do is um, to define what happens in each of the steps. And I'm going to show you a new, maybe new for you, um, there's a statement called switch which basically takes the place of a bunch of if-then-else statements. So what I can do is say for whatever is contained in this variable step, I want to look for um, a value of 1, and if that matches, then do some stuff. So in step 1, I want to just change my background to red. Uh, after I do everything that's needed for step 1, because there could be many statements here, uh, I use a break statement. Then I can move on to the next one. If the step variable contains the number 2, then do this stuff. So I'm going to make the screen uh, turn green. And then for step 3, I'm going to make the screen turn blue. This could be any, you know, this is like the simplest possible thing that I could make it do, but it could be anything. This could be like a sequence of um, Maybe it's sequences in a, a movie that you're showing one after another, or maybe it's um, levels in a game, or uh, it's um, basically a slideshow of images. Who knows? So anything that you want to happen one, one thing after another. There's also an optional part of the switch statement called default, and um, if it doesn't match anything above, then it'll, it'll do whatever's in default. So I'll just make it uh, turn the background black if it doesn't match one, two, or three. So uh, if I run it right now, um, all it does is just turns red and it stays red. And that's because it went into step one and never left. Because every time it goes through the draw loop, it's always still step one. So my next thing to do is to figure out how to make it move from step one to other steps. So let's say I want it to move every time, every time you click the mouse, uh, it goes on to a new step. So that's pretty easy. I can just do that. And now every time I click the mouse, it changes to a new uh, step in the sequence. But you can see I'm clicking right now, and it's just staying black. If I want to see exactly what's going on there, I can just print the value of step, and I can watch down at the bottom of the screen what's happening. There's step 3, step 4, 5, 6. So all of those are not steps 1, 2, or 3, so they all just end up uh, changing the background black every time. So maybe an easy way to solve that is to say uh, if as long as the step is less than 3, then add 1 to it. But if it's uh, not less than 3, then jump back to step 1. So all I'm doing is uh, going 1, 2, 3, if you look down at the bottom of the screen. When it gets to 3, it starts over again. So that's uh, basically a complete cycle. So um, what else could we do? We could say, uh, let's forget about pressing the mouse and say, um, I want it to change to a new step every 60 frames. So that should look familiar if you watch the other videos. Uh, every 60 frames increment the step by one. So when I run it now, about every second, changes to a new frame. It still gets stuck at the end because it's four, five, six, so on. So you know how to solve that though, because I just showed you. Um, and I guess one other thing I show you is that, you know, you could use a combination of them so that sometimes it moves to the next step by mouse click. Uh, you could also, um, you could have a series of if statements here. If the sketch has been running for 40 seconds, change to step three. If it's been running for 90 seconds, change to step four. Um, you can also do other things in here, like I could actually end the sketch when it gets to step three. So there's the first one, second one, third one, it actually exits. So this is the beginning, but you could make any kind of sequence of, of things happen with this setup. That's it.